Hi, my name is Herschel Bentley and I'm the Executive Director here at uh, National Credit Federation. The credit rating system has not been kind to the American consumer. The term credit repair has really been given a nasty reputation and in some hands has really become synonymous with fraud. The state of affairs often forces us to defend the ethics of our credit repair service. Here at National Credit Federation, we offer our members an alternative to credit prison. You see, the information listed in a credit report is nothing more than allegations, assertions, and many times unsupported that most consumers never challenge. However, after enlisting our experienced legal team, our members essentially enter a plea of not guilty. We take an affirmative defense position and leave it to the credit reporting agencies to substantiate their allegations. If the reporting agency's claims to have investigated and affirmed the allegation, then the decision is appealed. Eventually, though, most derogatory credit report uh, allegations are not able to be validated, resulting in them being removed. Without doubt, the removal of a derogatory credit item is ethically sound. We belong to a fundamentally capitalistic society and the credit bureaus capitalize on consumer information. Unlike our legal system though, the bureaus take no oath to uphold the truth, equity, or common good. No citizen has a moral obligation to support any business venture, much less a publicly traded corporation, which can easily destroy his or her financial life. If it weren't for federal laws that direct the credit reporting agencies to remove most, most items after seven years, they would maintain every piece of credit information indefinitely, and errors would never be corrected. Under federal law, though, credit bureaus must practice credit repair on themselves at the seven-year mark. Therefore, if removing bad credit records after seven years by the credit bureaus is the right thing to do, then why not do it sooner? The reality is that there is nothing in the credit law anywhere that says a credit item must be reported for seven minutes, seven weeks, or seven months, let alone seven years. Credit bureaus do not concern themselves with the impact on consumers. Primarily, their profit margins guide their judgment rather than the rights of the consumer. You see, credit report history often misrepresents the credit worthiness of the consumer by tagging good citizens as deadbeats. They damage everyone, creditors, the economy, and most importantly, you, the individual. Several policies and techniques employed by uh, credit bureaus are most abusive to the consumer. These we cite as justification for opposition to the present credit reporting system. Seven years of credit bondage and 10 years slated for bankruptcy for various court actions. Punishes you as a citizen unjustly. At no point have the credit reporting agencies conducted a study determining that seven years is the point of rejuvenation. The seven-year mark is entirely arbitrary. In fact, Dr. Bonnie Guyton, a consumer affairs advisor to President George Bush, remarked it's our understanding that computer models that predict credit information find the most information that is more than two years old is just non-essential. Think about it. Are your circumstances different than they were two years ago? You're probably shaking your head yes. Based on the experience of National Credit Federation members, Seven years is just entirely too long. Within a year or two, most consumers completely recover from a financial crisis. For the remaining five to six years then, they're left hobbled, forced to rent homes, pay outrageous interest rates on subprime auto loans, forego the convenience of owning a prime credit card, and are forced to pay cash for every expenditure. The credit agencies have not been able to maintain reasonable accuracy in their credit files. They claim an error rate of less than 1%. In reality, independent studies show that credit reporting agencies' error rates can be as high as 79%. One reporting agency actually testified in court to a greater than 50% error rate. Unfortunately, these agencies choose to err on the side of negative information. The reporting agencies fiercely resist, resist the uh, correction of these errors. It costs them time and money. Credit bureaus make their money from the sale of information and from the sale of generic target marketing lists to 
invasive personal investigations. They've recreated a pool of information larger than any in the world. The loser is the one who values privacy. Jobs are lost, insurance canceled, reputations ruined, all by error-prone collection of records. Sloppy record keeping and up for grabs collections of information. Americans are in desperate need of a revised credit reporting system. Until then, Americans need to realize that the removal of derogatory credit items prior to the current seven-year mark is not unpatriotic, unfair, or unethical. I'd go so far as to say it's not only your right, but your obligation to demand that every single item on your credit report is being reported accurately and that only fully validated items within the time restraints set forth by law are allowed to show on your credit report. Any and all other items are a violation of your legal, ethical rights. By expelling the consumer from the credit loop, the economy suffers. Many of our members come to us on the upswing. By making our memberships affordable, our clients soon find their way back to financial freedom and abundance. Our members are consumers who have recovered from a financial crisis of some sorts and are anxious to re-enter the credit economy, to go on to become financially responsible. As a result, we help our customers achieve a well-deserved parole from predatory reporting and lending practices.